other called Share and Hold Tōku Ingoa. On our Patreon site we've had a question about the pronunciation of colours and numbers. So I'm going to be doing colours today and the next one that I do will be about numbers. And then I'm also going to do a big pronunciation um, highlights of the tips and tricks so you can pronounce anything in um, Te Reo. Um, so I really appreciate having questions, so thank you for your question. And um, any more, please let me know, because I want to know whether what I'm creating is working for you, and if you have any further questions. So, most of us know that this colour, yellow, is Kōwhai. So what we're doing is we're breaking at every vowel, Kō Fai, Fai, and Fai rhymes with Kai, so anything with A-I will rhyme with that, I. Ko, and there's a macron over the O, so it's definitely not Ko Fai. Ko Fai, Ko Fai. So that's really important to model that for children because they're growing up possibly saying Ko I or Ko Fai. Ko Fai. There are several words for some colours, and one of them is for orange. Some people say karakaraka, some people say um, parakaraka. I particularly have karaka, but whichever one you already have, if that's correct for your area and you're used to it, go with that. But this is karaka. So there's no macrons, so it's karaka. Karaka. Ka, and the ra is rolled. Karaka, karaka. And if it's karakaraka, same thing, or parakaraka. So you'll be able to pronounce that fine. Many people know that red is fiddle. So this is definitely not ferro. Ferro, fiddle, fiddle. And so the R is rolled again and the O is O. The O is always O, it's never O. Ferro, ferro, ferro. Again, we really need to make sure we're pronouncing that correctly for children with this O, it's really important. Oh, this is representing pink, it's a bit of a different kind of pink, but there we go. Pink is ma, ferro because you probably know that ma is one of the words for white. So ma fe ro. Ma fe ro is pink because it's white and red together. Ma fe ro. Be careful not to say ma fe ro. Ma fe ro. Ma fe ro. We've got purple here. Many people have different words for purple. And the word I use is y poro poro. Why? Poro poro. Why? Poro poro. And some people say poro poro. And there's other words for purple, including papuda, which is the transliteration. So we've got those ones. Ko fai. You can copy me if you need help with this. Ko fai. Karaka. Fe ro. Ma fe ro. Why? Po, ro, po, ro. Ko, fai, karaka, fero, ma, fero, wai, poro, poro. Okay, let's go over here. So this is one, this one has got, for green, has got two macrons on the ka, ka. And so this is riki. Ka, ka, riki. Ka, Ka riki, ka ka riki, ka ka riki. Um, there's a bit of d um, disagreement sometimes with the words for light blue and dark blue. I've included them both here so that I can bring it up. For me, I use the colours um, from a Māori language book which I've used, which is for kikorangi and kahurangi. With early childhood, it's probably fine to just use one word for blue. We don't, you know, there's other words for light green and other words for more of a lemony yellow, but we're trying to keep it simple. But I've just put these two here. If you already call blue 
kikorangi, then that's fine, just go with it. And if you call all blues kahurangi, then go with that. No need to really go into this, but I'll talk to you about what I have been made aware of, and then I've also met people who think it's the opposite way around. So up to you, but ki ko rangi is the one that I've learned for light blue. Kiko rangi, and if it's different for that for you, go with it. That's all good. Ka hu rangi, ka hu rangi, ka hu rangi is the one for medium to dark blue. Kahurangi. So we've got ki ko rangi, ka hu rangi. We'll go through them all again in a minute. And now for brown, there's two common ones. Pa ro li or pa rao ne. So I'll show, no, we'll talk about these a little bit more carefully. Pa ra ri pa ra u ri pa, and this au goes to o pa ra ri pa ra ri can you try that pa ra ri or the one that's more of a transliteration is pa ra ne pa ra ne and i hear some people mixing them up so they might say pa ra ni or parau ri, but it's parau ri or parau ne. There you go. And um, I use pango for black, pango, and some people have, because of that song usually, mangu, but I say pango. So remember the a, e, e, or u, and you'll be able to pronounce these these vowels correctly. Pango, mangu. And up here we've got my interpretation of grey, which commonly is called kiwi, 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 kiwi. So it's not too hard to pronounce. And there's a white circle here for ma, which has the macron, ma. And uh, the word for white is also tia from Aotearoa, which means the long white cloud, and that's the tia is the word for white. But commonly we say ma. So we'll go through these ones again. Ka, ka, riki, ki, ko, rangi, ka, hu, rangi, pa, ra, uri, pa, ra, ne, pango, mangu, Kiwi, kiwi, ma. So there you are. Those are the colours in Te Reo Māori. That's the main ones. There are other slight variations, just as there are in English, with different words for different colours. Um, just look at any kind of paint shop and you'll see masses of words. You know, turquoise and aqua and all those kind of colours. But these are the basic ones. Try and pronounce them correctly because, of course... Um, children are listening to us, and especially when we sing a colour song or do our colours book Me Haere and Te Reo Sing Along or talking about anything with colours, it's really important to get this pronunciation right because children are really into colours. And I also encourage you to try and use these colours in a sentence. So the last thing I'll say is that the colour goes after the noun. So in our Me Haere song we've got the Moto Paika fiddle for the red motorbike. The colour will always go after the noun. So if somebody's got a um, a white t-shirt, there it's a tihate ma. Or if they've got a yellow car, waka or motoka, waka kofai. So put the colour after the thing all the time. I've got a pene pango, pene pango. Hopefully that's helpful to you, practice, and thank you for asking. Kakite.